So there is a legitimate reason for why a bunch of people bought the Nintendo Switch colorful Joy-Cons, you know, with blue and red, over the gray bundle. But if you wanted custom Joy-Cons on your Nintendo Switch and custom straps and, you know, you know, just make your own Nintendo Switch, well, now you can. On Nintendo's Japanese website, yes, this is only on their Japanese website, I I'm pretty sure it's going to come to American website soon, you can customize your Nintendo Switch officially. So you can see here, they'll say, we will receive reservations for delivery from October 8th, and then they just go on about, like, delivery options, stuff like that. But the let me just go over this first. So step one, select a combination of the main unit and the controller. So this is where you can, let me just uh, see here. This is where you can make your own custom Nintendo Switch with the Joy-Cons and the straps. So if I wanted to, I could make my own Splatoon 2 one. I could, you know, do red. I could do the red and blue bundle. Um, I could just do anything here. And I'm sure Nintendo's gonna offer more colors soon. And you can see, um, here, like at the bottom, they say some things like there's neon, there's no neon, there's no green, and there's no pink. And the reason for that is because Splatoon bundle. Now you can also customize your own straps. So if you want to have, you know, custom straps with it, you can do that. And like maybe, hold on, let me just, okay, yeah, there and there. Yeah, look, now you got like a Splatoon two thing going on. So if you really want to make your own custom Nintendo Switch, this is where you would do it. They have like four different angles you can choose from, which is pretty nice. I'm pretty sure this does cost more money than just getting a Switch straight up. So moving on to step two, this part is really interesting. You can add your own games to it. So you can, as you can see here, as I did, you can choose all of these. So if you want two, uh, two copies of Splatoon 2, you can do that. But yeah, you can cho uh, like choose your own games you want to have in here. So... I can, you know, have Splatoon 2, ARMS, and Breath of the Wild, maybe that's it. And, yeah, and there you go. Of course, it's going to add on to the price of the Switch consoles together, because, you know, that's just how it works. But moving on to the next thing. So here you can choose a carrying case and a screen protector if it comes with it. So you can have, these are official, like, things, by the way. So you can have this one, this one here. I would personally get this one, no, I'd actually get this one because it kind of goes with the Nintendo Switch, you know, red thing. Or if you just are a fan of Splatoon 2, you can get a Splatoon 2 one. And moving on to one of the final steps, and that is if you want to add any, like, additional, you know, peripherals or accessories. So you can get another set of Joy-Cons, you can get the uh, Switch Pro Controller or the Splatoon 2 Edition. And here you can just get, you know, a Joy-Con grip and the Joy-Con extended battery thing. And, you know, you can get other Joy-Cons here, like, yeah, not really a big deal. And this thing, this is probably they're going to have to improve on it, but if you want, you can add stickers and some other stuff you can get. Right now, it's only Splatoon 2 stickers, but I'm probably going to say that in a couple months, they're, once, like, the American version of this comes out, they're probably going to add more things you can add, like, uh... Maybe custom engravings on your Nintendo Switch, that would be pretty interesting. Maybe even once the Nintendo Switch battery pack comes out, they can put that here as well. And I would highly recommend you get that, because the Switch battery isn't fantastic. It's not horrible, but it's definitely not great. And of course, because the Nintendo Switch delays are all over the place, it's sold out, so... If you do live in Japan, you're just gonna have, and you want one of these, you're just gonna have until they get back in stock. So this is pretty interesting, I'm glad Nintendo did this, because a lot of people are gonna probably want to you know, make their own Nintendo Switch, and maybe Nintendo's gonna make some more profit, because this, this does cost more money than just buying a Switch straight up, so they're probably gonna make more profit from this, but it's pretty, it's just still pretty interesting that you can, you know, do this. And again, if I already didn't have a Nintendo Switch, once it comes back in stock and the American version of this is released, I probably would make my own Nintendo. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please do share this video on social media. It really does help. If you have any news articles that you want me to talk about, please private message me on YouTube with the link to the article, and if you ask, you might get a shout out for it. Please leave your thoughts on this in the comment section below, and see you.